What is going on, everyone? There is going to be two more beasts joining the squad, dude. I feel like I needed a legitimate first baseman. What I mean by that is somebody whose primary position is first base. Because over the past little bit, I've been using people at first base who you wouldn't normally see at first base. Like Eddie Matthews was playing first base. Fucking Arenado was playing first base for a, for a good amount of games, actually. Ever since I picked up Eddie Matthews, I was playing Arenado at first base. Since he was doing so well offensively. But I just need somebody at first base. Because I do have a lot of players at first base at the moment. But I've kind of used them a lot. Like I have Joey Votto, Freeman, Fred McGriff, uh, Miguel Cabrera. I haven't even used Miggy yet. The live series Miggy. So I'm trying to uh, get him in the lineup at some point in time. But I legit need a first baseman. And really the only thing I needed to do was the Cubs collection. Because the Cardinals... That collection is kind of dirt cheap, man. Like, you, you could probably do that collection for around 6,000 stubs. No joke. I think Carpenter goes for... Uh, he, he was going for around 30... or Actually, he was going for around 3,000 stubs when I got him. So, that's not... That is kind of, you know, a lot for a silver, for a silver player. Unless he's, like, lit, insane or something. But he was going for around 3,000 stubs. The rest of the collection was, you know, everyone else was below 500 stubs, I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little bit over, but not by, by that much. But the Cubs collection was really the only collection I needed to do to finish the NL Central. So all I needed to do was just get Chris Bryant on the squad. And then I could be able to get this flashback Kyle Schwarber and then Willie Stargell. So Schwarber is going to be playing left field. I guess that's really... The, I guess you could put him at, at first base if you wanted to. I mean, that, that could actually be a possibility. I could put him at first base because a lot of people like to do that. They like to put... Uh, people at first base if they don't really want to put him in the field if they have bad fielding and stuff But who knows maybe I will do that. I mean Schwarber has He has like th 30. I'm gonna show the stats right now, but like 34 vision isn't too good man Like when you get up in those divisions and you're in like the CS the World Series that can kind of be a problem But I mean how can you ignore the 90 contact versus righties and the 99 power? So, like, 99 power, dude, I'm looking to get the Moonshot Squad back. I'm, I'm looking to do that, man. I'm looking to get the Moonshot Squad back. 99 power on both of these cards versus righties. So, yeah, Schwarber does have that 34 vision, or 34 vision. He does have 84 uh, power versus lefties. I mean, this really isn't a card you want to use against lefties. Only 54 contact. That is not good at all. And the fielding is, you know, below average, I guess, 65 for left field. That's not really someone you want to put out there 100%. But Willie Stargell, 71 fielding at first base isn't too much of a problem, if you ask me. He has 90 contact as well versus righties. And he has 99 power, like I already said. So, I mean, you know, better vision on this card with 52. So, I mean, I'm excited to use this Willie Stargell, dude. Because I don't think I've seen anyone with this card yet. Even in, like, BR or something. I haven't seen anybody use this card yet. So, it's going to be interesting to see how well these guys do in the debut game. Because I'm probably going to try and get that game in. Or just uh, play that game with them. Or play, yeah, both these players at the same time in the same game for the debut. Not just play one of them and then wait for the next game to play the next guy. So, Willie Stargell will be playing first base since that is uh, one of his secondary positions. Don't have to worry about that. So, I mean, hopefully they can do some damage, man. I mean, 99 power. I know they toned down power in this game a lot and shit, but it's like... 99 power on both of these cards you would think they would be doing some damage at the plate and they would be able to hit a good amount of moon shots so i'm going to try and get this debut game in with both of these guys uh tonight so hopefully that video will be posted tomorrow i'm going to try and play that mvp game tonight too episode four i'm hoping to get that in tonight if it doesn't go down tonight it will most likely be going down tomorrow in the afternoon or something so if you don't have me on twitter Follow me on Twitter and you will find out all that information and then maybe we could uh, play a game and unranked or something. But as always, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. This is what the squad is going to be looking like for the next game, too. So just a little heads up on that, too. I will see everybody in the next video.